This is exactly how far we got away from the car before I remembered that we need our batteries for the camera. Anyways, it's me and Lisa. She's in uh, New Jersey. She's a Bigfoot investigator and researcher from Ohio. And we're here in Stoke State Forest taking a little walk through the forest, uh, going uh, and seeing what we can find. I'm taking her to a little special spot that's, uh, I'll show you guys when we get up there. Fun fact for you, that's actually called a, the, 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 the official definition, a culvert. culvert. Yes, this is a culvert. <laughs> yeah. Not a drainage ditch, not a, not a, not a tunnel, it's definitely a culvert. Yeah, we, we're official over here in the shadow of Big Red Eye. We want, we want our viewers to know the official terms, of course. Yeah, please try not. Well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, please don't fall. I was gonna say, try not to fall. <laughs> don't fall too bad. How's that sound? It is uh, November, and it's a brisk 33 degrees out. But uh, that's not stopping us. The sun's out, and we're out. That's what matters. Oh, there's the shelter. See the sh the the van. Um, Ooh. Wow, we're already halfway there. <laughs> well, halfway to the Appalachian Trail, anyway. You ever hiked on the Appalachian Trail before? Nope. You're gonna do today. I know you're not gonna find any tracks here today. Nothing. You'd be surprised what I can find. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess. You want to check out the shelter? Yeah. We are headed towards and going to show you the Gren Anderson shelter along the Appalachian Trail here in High Point, I'm sorry, in Stokes State Forest, New Jersey. We are just off the ridge, the Kittatiddy Ridge Line, which sits over to my west or right-hand side. Kind of pretty. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty close. <laughs> We are at the Gren Anderson shelter. You have a bear box. That's a bear box for the bears, so you can put your food and stuff in there and the bears won't get it. Yeah. And then the privy is up that way. That's the bathroom. And here is the shelter. Gren Anderson, built by the Green Mountain Club, 1958, rededicated in 1994. Keep in mind, people, you are not allowed to have fires here in New Jersey along the Appalachian Trail. In fact, you are not allowed to have fires anywhere in the state of New Jersey besides a designated campsite in a fire ring. So when you're hiking the 73 miles of Appalachian Trail through New Jersey, you're going to be cold if it's going to be chilly at night, okay? So just keep that in mind. 227, 23. Oh, I don't see if there's any cool one here. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, do you have rocks in Ohio? Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are officially now on the Appalachian Trail. For those of you that aren't aware, I don't know if you watch my program, you're probably outdoorsy and you would know this, but not aware the Appalachian Trail is a long trail that runs from Georgia to Springer Mountain in Georgia to Mount Katahdin in uh, central Maine and uh, it's 
one of the four or five long paths in the United States. People, it takes about three months from start to finish. People go from south in Georgia to north in Maine. So they start in the spring and end in, in the fall. Or in the summer, really. They follow the, the weather pattern going north as it gets warm. And it looks like we have our first official river crossing, well, stream crossing, if you will. Make it look easy. Right. <laughs> good hey, good morning. How are you doing? Oh, it's beautiful. Clock in a while, what time is it? I said it's good morning or oh. good afternoon. I don't know you. You got 10 minutes before noon. I got 10 minutes. Well, there morning. you go. So, still good morning. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, perfect. This is flat. I hate to see what the other one looks like. <laughs> this is nothing. Oh my god, this is absolutely nothing. But you can see we're starting to get into a view. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to the Culver Fire Tower in Stokes. I took you up to High Point, right? Yeah. That was a pretty cool view, no? Yes, because we went there before we went to Maine. Yeah. But uh, this view that we're going to go see on this one, tops it. Sweetness. This is the best view that I have found in Sussex County. And I have been literally all over Sussex County. So I'm excited to take Lisa there today and taking you guys there for the ride as well. Well this time of year you shouldn't have cubs so you're right. Yeah. But they are foraging for food because it's right before they go into their 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 uh, toper or torpor as you call it which is a state of deep sleep for uh, animals uh, specifically bears, right? Bears in New Jersey do not hibernate. That's a common misconception. Uh, they actually go into a state called torpor, which is just a deep sleep. Uh, we find bear tracks in the snow and in winter. That's that's uh, how we know that bears don't hibernate, right? We wouldn't find tracks in the snow if they hibernated. So that's just a little cool tidbit of information. A little fun fact for you. We are hiking literally on top right now of the Kittatinny Ridge Line. We are headed up to Culver Mountain and uh, the Kittatinny Ridge Line is actually New Jersey's part of the Appalachian Trail or the Appalachian Mountains uh, coming from the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania then it crosses the Delaware River into the Kittatinny Mountains here in New Jersey up into the Catskills in New York State. Well, not so much the Catskills, but the Hudson Valley, really. But uh, this is just typical Kittatinny Ridge Line, uh, Kittatinny Mountain uh, kind of, kind of uh, summit rocks here. You don't have too much vegetation. No big trees growing on the summit here. Just these little bushes. He could probably do this no problem. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you he could run through this with his eyes closed and be perfectly fine. Imagine how how his feet must be. How how like strong and like durable. Like I have boots on, like hiking boots, and my feet hurt because <laughs> of all these rocks. You know, like hmm, I don't know. <clears throat> Is it true? Say it again. 
that moth points to like most civilization at like is it true that moth point moss points to civilization? So no, it's not. That's actually a wives' tale. Uh, the uh, the the rumor has it that moths always grows to the north on trees and and rocks, right? But we are at a western facing ridge right now, and you could see how there's moss growing. So unfortunately. If you're trying to use that little wise tail to survive, uh, it does hold true most of the time, but you can't. I wouldn't depend on it for survival. Good question. That or water. Follow the water. Yep. You always want to follow if you're in a survival situation. You always want to follow water downstream. Downstream leads to bigger water, which leads to civilization. Don't go upstream. Well, we made it to the fire tower. Yeah, here she is. What a view, right? Sixty-footer. It's one of the highest in the state. Are you cool with this? Huh? I'll be good. Don't freak out on me. This is one of the most stable fire towers that I've been on, so. Aw, oh, man. You can see High Point from here. Yeah, this is the view. Here she is. Yeah, this is beautiful. First impression? It's pretty. <laughs> That's all you got? It's pretty? Yeah. <laughs> nice and easy. That wasn't too bad, was it? No, not really. <laughs> and you said you're scared of heights. <clears throat> We're gonna walk this way a little bit. Yep. This is pretty incredible. My thighs are on fire. Is that bad? Yeah? I, I guess I haven't been really hiking hiking in a minute, but... Man, they are... They're... They're ripe. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I walked into a tree. You walked into a tree. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Fun fact? It's uh, about a to go, actually. Alright, go for it. Did you know in the woods, if you hear whistling or if you whistle, you're not supposed to whistle back because it's the to go trying to bring you in? If you whistle in the woods? Yeah, it's like the way for the to go to... Oh boy. Yeah. So I shouldn't be whistling, well, is what, is what you're saying. Well, I don't know if you have any windigos up here or not, so... I hope we don't have any windigo up here. Well, I didn't think I did either, but where I live at, I obviously do. Yeah. All right, well, I won't whistle anymore <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that he would chill and look at stuff, like take in the view? I don't see why not. I, mean, I would. I if I was a squatch. Because they're very intelligent, so I'm going to probably go places just to... To watch human activity or just to watch nature, you know? Maybe both. <laughs> or both, yeah. Like, what are these stupid people? Yeah, what are they doing today? 
That, that's very well. That could be. I, w I would definitely. There's been, uh, in Pennsylvania, I investigated a sighting along a power line, and it was walking, and it had a beautiful view of the highway, and uh, one of those, one of those, uh, billboards, right? But they, it was one of those new ones that change. Yeah. So I think, they think it was watching that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, I would too, because yeah. watching them. Yeah, right? That, that would intrigue me, if Especially I was a Squatch. being a Squatch and not know what it is. Right. Like, ooh, what is this? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Look at all those trees. Well, this is a, a, a place on my a new place on my list to uh, that we can visit at night. We could go and ha right to the shelter Ooh, yeah. and just hang out there. That's a perfect place. Oh yeah. To do calls and it's not far from the car at all and just chill yeah that's a great idea too bad we can't have a fire there that would be cool if we just chill by a fire get one of these fireless fires the smokeless fires <laughs> yeah. yeah that uh that who uh, who's promoting snoop dogg snoop dogg's promoting yeah yeah it is Look how clean it is, right? Wow.